Hey, hi genius. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kalisha if you're new and I am a registered dental hygienist. And in today's video, I want to give you all some quick tips and tricks on how to take an FMX, which is a full mouth series in five minutes or less. I mentioned how easy and quick it was for me to take an FMX in one of my vlogs during Vlogtober and y'all almost <laughs> drop y'all draws if some of y'all didn't. But um, you all were like, what? Five minutes? It takes me 15. It takes me however many. Help, help, help. So here I am. I'm just going to give you all some quick tips and actually show you all me doing it on a patient. So I don't want to spend a lot of time rambling. I just want to jump right into today's video. first is going to be the obvious go ahead and have everything out that you're going to need now by everything all i mean is pretty much the ren devices that you use you want the posterior anterior and bite wing bite tab along with the sensor a protective sleeve and anything else depending on what you do or do not have at your office so my setup usually looks something like this, pretty simple, straight to the point, exactly what I need. Now, we have a lot of extra bite tabs, um, so we can sterilize in between use and still have others. So I don't use a protective covering over my actual bite tab and the sensor. I only use it over the sensor because that's what I reuse with every patient. So depending on if your office has a lot of extras, you may or may not need to use this protective slip. Now I have found when taking an FMX because I don't use this slip, I go a lot quicker because sometimes the plastic gets jammed and it takes a long time to flip it over and go to a different quadrant in the mouth. So if you can not use the plastic barrier and still avoid cross contamination, do so. But Tip number two, raise the operating chair and the patient up to an adequate height. You want their head somewhere in between like your chin and your breast area. Nothing lower because you don't want to do a lot of bending or over exerting when you're taking x-rays. You also want to ask the patient to have their chin back for mandibular and forward for maxillary. Tip number three, explain what you're gonna be doing and it may sound a little something like this. Okay, so we gotta get a full mouth series which is just x-rays of each individual tooth in your mouth from the crown to the tip of your root. All right, so there's about 18 pictures but don't fret, they go by quick. All right, all you'll be doing is opening and closing and we use these x-rays to check for cavities, your bone levels and if there's any like infections at the tip of the root, which I don't believe you have any but these x-rays give us a good overall view so we can get a good comprehensive exam. Pro tip, if your patient mentions they have a gag reflex, you may want to tell them breathe through their nose and wiggle their toes, or you may even want to put them in a position where they can put their feet flat on the floor. So my fourth tip is gonna to be to follow the system you have. So most x-ray softwares guide you along the FMX process. So mine starts in the posterior. So I already have it set up with the posterior bite tab ready to go. So let's get going. So my software starts me in the upper right. And as you can see, I do have a Nomad. So I don't have to do a lot of running back and forth action. So that also cuts down on time. But another trick while I'm taking x-rays is I don't come in and out of the mouth in between exposures. All I do is slightly move it up and let the patient know it'll be about a one, two second wait before the next picture is taken. And they get a break when I move on to the next side. Also, while I'm taking x-rays, I communicate with them and let them know what I'm doing throughout the whole time. For an example, I'll say we'll be in the upper right. All you do is open and close and I'll let you know when to do so. My Nomad also has a two beat minimum for the x-ray to be exposed. So I make sure and let the patient know, okay, it's gonna be two beats. That makes sure that they don't open before it's time for them to open and then the x-ray is being blurry. Moving on to the lower left, you don't have to reconfigure the REN device, so we love that. So I expose those two x-rays and then after that is when I reposition the REN for the upper left and the lower right. So I continue to stay on the left side of the patient. So while I'm setting up the REN device, I usually just make small talk in between that time to give myself one or two seconds to piece everything together. And then we go right back into taking x-rays. Another tip, if your Nomad beats twice like mine, go ahead and click it once while you're outside the mouth. Get it positioned and then as soon as the patient bites down, you can trigger it and you're done. 
That way it eliminates the amount of time that the sensor's in the patient's mouth. After the upper left, we go to the lower right. And again, you don't have to reconfigure the REN device. Now that we've done the lower right, all of the posterior x-rays are taken. Now we're gonna move on to the anteriors and we're gonna start with maxillary. But it's time to change your bite tab. So instead of using the yellow that was for posterior, now we're gonna use the blue, which is for anterior. And fun fact, if you use this circle REN that I have that has the red, yellow and blue color on it you don't have to change it from posterior to anterior it stays the same so all you have to do is change the blue not the white so after you've gotten all that set up it's time to start on the maxillary right canine and there's going to be three images that takes you all the way over to the left canine i don't walk around the patient with this i either ask them to turn to me or i slightly lean over them and take these x-rays immediately after you do the top teeth you drop down and do the bottom teeth um, from left to right then you're done with the anteriors and the only thing left are bite wings now the bite wings call for the red bite tab so you do have to reconfigure the ren device so while you're doing that be sure to let them know that there's only four left two on each side and they're level bites so they're a lot more comfortable i found that this lets the patient know that they're almost done and they can find a little bit more strength and encouragement to keep going a few more quick tips that i probably should have mentioned at the beginning is when you're setting up your x-ray device you want to make sure that all of the cords prongs are facing out of the patient's mouth. That's how you know you have it set up correctly. And also before you switch from posterior to anterior or anterior to bite wings, you always wanna check through those x-rays you took to see if you need to retake any. Or like me, if your x-ray pops right up, you know immediately if you didn't get the apex or if you cone cut or if you did something that distorted the image, you can go ahead and press repeat x-ray and take it right then and there so that you don't have to reset up something at the end of the entire FMX. All right, Hygienia, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below and let me know how your x-ray process usually go. Does it take you 10, 15 minutes to take an FMX? Do you do some of the tricks? Did you find some of them helpful? Let's just chit chat a little bit down in the comments. And next, we're gonna take this FMX that I took today and we're gonna transfer it from the x-ray to the hard chart. So I'll be taking you all step by step through my process of how I read x rays and get it hard charted so be sure you're subscribed turn on your bell so you won't miss the notification and i'll see you then bye hygienists